Isn't it amazing that we are down there? We are down there on that planet. It, it just never ceases to amaze me. I could watch this video day and night and never sleep if I could do such a thing. We are sharing this world with other people, animals, fish, bugs, <laughs> you name it. We are sharing this world. And we're basically floating around in outer space orbiting a sun that is probably billions of miles away. I don't know the exact measurements, but it's far away. But it's not too close and it's not too far away. It's in the right place to sustain life down here. This orbit is something we have no control over. It's not like there's a machine that causes the Earth to orbit, uh, you know, to orbit the sun. It doesn't work that way. It just does it. I think whether you live for a day, a week, a year, you've still been given a gift of life. And this goes for people who live much longer. Every day is a gift. It's like the ultimate gift to be alive. And here we go. There's some different footage. <laughs> I'll go back to the orbit again. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So we are sharing this world with the richest and the poorest, uh, the smartest and the dumbest. <laughs> there is a lot of variety down here or down there. <laughs> you know, whether you're a car mechanic or a rocket scientist, whatever job you have, or if you don't have a job, your life and mine has more meaning than any of us will ever know. Now you may disagree with me, but I believe that this world, the universe, and everything in it was created by God. You could call God an intelligent designer, and you could say the world was created by this entity. Now, maybe in another dimension, God is called something else. But I believe that whoever or whatever created the universe is so intelligent, it's beyond human comprehension. Like, we cannot comprehend this. That's why we have all kinds of theories. You know, there's the Big Bang, there's evolution, but... I don't know. I, I think that is a conspiracy theory. I think the reality of this is, is that God created it or an intelligent designer. You know, you can call that God like I do, or you could just say something else. Now, we are blessed and cursed to be here because there are unspeakable acts of violence that take place down there. But there's also miracles, medical miracles, other miracles, and goodwill to others. So it's not all bad. But we live in a world of extremes, too. Extreme poverty, extreme wealth. <laughs> uh, you know, there's uh, addictions. There are other problems, too. We have a lot of them. But what I say is that Whatever you do with your life, live it your way. Just um, live it without harming people. 
I'm not saying to do that, but live it your way. Create your own history. And think of people or animals or just life itself as an extension of your own body. Because that's what everything is. Everything is connected. And everything is an extension of us. It's just amazing, really. Obviously, the earth is not flat. <laughs> but those are fun theories. I love that stuff. Let's see what else there is here. Let's see. Wow. Look at that. These are all things that are just happening that we have no control over. You know, we come into this world involuntarily and we leave it the same way. And all of these things are taking place while we are alive. It's truly a miracle. It really is.